gas tanks. This is the part that you never see on a McCormick Deering Type M gas tanks. These are just a few examples that I've collected up. Had them thrown in the back of the shed over there. Dug them out there for a show and tell. So let's get this show on the road. These these first two examples here, as you you can see that 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 the uh, outlets here are different. The uh, this is the one that has the vent that comes out the side of the block and this one does not have the vent. Both of these are three horsepower size and just a size comparison this is the one and a half horsepower right here this is the three. The, uh, this is the way you will find the majority of these old barn fine auction sale special junkyard drag homes. And these these right here are all equally no good. I mean that's a good representation of how you'll find these old gas tanks. So on the get go, just know that you're going to have to replace the gas tank. And there is several options to do that. One of them is build your own build your own tank which is not that hard to do you know just it's another project for the shop to build a gas tank uh, this one uh, as, a, as one of those that has the bent on the one and a half horsepower this one does not you can see the difference in them this is a special casting uh, some of them I think do have it's a eighth inch pipe thread on one side and a quarter inch on the other side. We, we, we'll show a close up when we get in there on the workbench. But this is just a, uh, that, this is the majority of the way you will find the gas tanks. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the point that's being made today. It's, uh, it was storage. And those were galvanized. A two piece tank pressed together uh, they, they were good tanks they, and they lasted their normal lifetime. It was not a problem. They did last, probably exceeded their life expectancy. This is a homemade tank here. It's bare metal, well, welded, welded construction. It, it, it is the one that's got the vent on it. And these are the same. This, the, the tanks are the same. It's only the outlet. The uh, this one actually used a adapter. This one didn't have the adapter. This one did have. So so there's two options. On that one. Uh, this 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 type here will all be the same. Just, this is what you're going to find. That's the point being made in this whole... And, and luck, occasionally you will be lucky and find one that is in really, really good shape. Uh, this one will be... Uh, it'll be uh, cleaned up, washed out inside, and then coated with uh, a fuel tank liner. I use Crane brand, but pretty, it's a pretty solid tank. That just goes to prove that with the correct storage, these old tanks did survive. The easiest way to save these tanks is to just go ahead and this this is a normal pipe fitting. Just go ahead and saw that off with the adapter out here for the fuel neck. Just go ahead and saw that off. Get this out of the engine and then deal with getting this fitting out of the tank and that way you save the tank. If you try to screw this out nine times out of ten or more you will twist off the inlet in the fuel tank. So to save the tank you just saw that off, get it out and then remove this on the workbench. Then end up with, with uh, three savageable ones out of this 
this amount here. Now let's get on to the workbench and get some close-ups. Gas tanks. You got to have a gas tank. And this one right here, that's a new one that ain't never been used. Uh, you'll recognize where this tank comes from. It's a good tank. A really, really, really good tank. It's kind of thin. The, 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 it's galvanized. Uh, it's kind of thin, but it's a good tank. There's no problems with these tanks. I have used several of these. No problem with them. It's a good replacement tank. This one, that's an original tank. One, one and a half horsepower. This is the original one that I just removed from an engine. I sawed the pipes off to get it out of the engine and get it in here where I can work on it and, and remove these without twisting the fittings from the tank. Uh, this one will be cleaned up. It's uh, always got some stuff in it, but that will be cleaned up and put back into service with uh, coating uh, fuel tank liner inside of it. I do I do use cream fuel tank liner. Uh, I have used the other brands. I see not very much difference in any of it. Whatever brand works for you is the one to use, I'm sure. This tank is, I removed this from an engine uh, a long time ago. But as you can see, it's it's a little smaller tank than that. The only, there is some dimensions here that has to be met for this to fit. But it's a little smaller, uh, same height, same width, but a little shorter. And, that, and, the, and the ears are a little longer, so it'll bolt up in the same place. Uh, this one will be cleaned. It's a pretty clean tank. It'll be coated and reused. This is the tank that we're going to use on this baling water engine. Really, really good. good. I don't know what the gauge on that is. Uh, I'm not even going to guess, but you can see it's got a real nice mounting tab on it there. I think the metal tank is a little thinner than that. Stainless steel, welded fittings, welded construction, really good. I, and this was a new tank. This was a this 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 was a eBay tank. I don't know any history behind it other than it was a eBay. It was a eBay tank. And uh, I think, uh, no, I, I purchased this on eBay. That's the way I come about this. It was just, it was one of those deals that was too good to pass up. There's more to that story, but let's just leave it at that. I did uh, wash the tank out inside, and I've coated it with a good liberal coat of cream fuel tank liner. It's ready to use. We're going to, we're going to use, we're going to install this tank. Now let's get to that. Uh, but first, the, the the fitting it goes in the top there on the uh, on the later model that has the vent. It does have a part number on it there. It's special fitting. It's eight inch pipe thread on this side that comes down, and this half of that comes down, and this is the suction. It does not have a check valve. Fuel pump operates. The um, but this is an eighth inch on the suction side, and on the um, it's quarter pipe on the vent side, and and on on this this particular one here, you will find time and time again that someone has drilled a hole in the fuel cap, and that's just totally unnecessary. It's just another place for a dirt dauber to get because it does have a vent here. Anyway, we're gonna put this in here. I will use the gasola on all fittings. Let's get on with that.